Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to use an event dispatcher instead of using the old way to check how many health and stamina you have uh, left in the game or that you have. As you remember here we have our health and the stamina right here and if we do play you see that it's casting LO non-stop which means that in our HUD here you remember we have a progress bar right here not a progress bar but we have we're checking our health from casting to our character all the time which cause performance issue at some point right because if you have a lot of things displayed in your game and you cast every time to check well it's slowing down your game so we're gonna fix that and make that way in the proper way I mean so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to our first person character and in our first person character, we're going to use what we call an event dispatcher. So what is an event dispatcher? Well, think about it like police, fire, or paramedic. You know, when you call them, basically, there is someone that answers your call and put some information on the computer so it can be assigned to the person that work on the street to go to your place and assist you for whatever you need. Right, so it's exactly the same thing the event dispatcher. So we're gonna create one here at the bottom left here on the detail panel. Right, we're gonna create an event dispatcher. That event dispatcher, the first one is gonna be our health dispatcher. So we're gonna name it that way. So what we need for health dispatcher? Well, we need an input for health, right? So we're gonna go here in the detail panel and we're gonna add a new parameter. I'm gonna call that health percent because this is going to control the percentage bar which is that bar right here okay so we have it here and we're going to compile that so now we have our L dispatcher so we're going to take our L dispatcher and here on the, our L regain logic we're going to take our L dispatcher and put it right there and we're going to call that dispatcher right so think about that that you're the person here for the ELT and every time your ELT is modifying you tell the dispatcher you know same thing that you know if you have an injury and you call the paramedic to assist you you're gonna let the dispatcher know what's happening right your health is going down or you know you're sick or you have this so you pass the information to the dispatcher and the dispatcher is gonna assign a patrol unit to attend and try to assist you with your problem okay so it's exactly what the dispatcher is doing so here under function we're gonna have a new function and this function will be called get elt I'm gonna write it correctly elt um, yeah I think that percent will be good and we're gonna take our elt and we're gonna take our max elt right and from the get l percent here we're going to drag and do a return return node and i'm going to take those two and we need to make sure we divide those two together right because we want a number from that go to 100 which is our max health right so i'm going to put it right there drag it there and it's the only thing you have to do here we're going to compile that and now we're going to go back to our event graph so we created that L percent here and we needed to plug it there right because it's our calculation that we just did here so we have to plug it right here so we're gonna take that and put it right there but you can see there's some arrows on each side and we don't need that because we don't really need to plug it right there you could plug it right there and plug it right this and it would be fine right but that doesn't look good and if you have a lot of code you know every time you can save or shave a little bit you're doing it right so what you can do you can click on get l percent and here you can click on per function and when you click on that and you compile now if you drag it back you're gonna see it's just the function with no arrows so it's a little bit more cleaner i will say it's cleaner it's look better so i will use that instead just to save a little bit of space even if we have all the space in the world to put our code so from that now we need also to 
advise you know by the dispatcher when our health is modified you know here you know when our health is regaining when we feel better in a certain way we're telling the dispatcher right but we also need to tell the dispatcher when we're taking damage right so remember when we take damage any kind of damage we're calling this uh, custom event which is the one that control our health to go down right so from that the only thing we have to do is taking our health dispatcher take it there we're gonna call our dispatcher saying hey you know what my health is going down I need some people here to give me a hand right it's a little bit like this so we're gonna take our get health dispatcher uh, health dispatcher we're gonna get our L percent drag it there and plug it right here now all the code here for our first person character is done so every time our L getting modified in any shape or form is gonna advise the dispatcher that something is happening but this guy here our player ad will listen to this so we have to tell that game that game that that uh, player ad to listen so we're gonna click on our alt here we're gonna make sure that we are removing the binding that, that we did earlier because we don't need that anymore and we're gonna go directly to the graph tab and on even construct here we're gonna add a sequence here and we're gonna drag from the first sequence and we're gonna add our binding right there okay so we're gonna take our reference to our first person character because we want to access the dispatcher here. So we're gonna drag from our reference to our first person character and we're gonna bind our health dispatcher. Here we go. And now we're gonna plug it to den one. As you know, it's doing den zero first and after that den one and so forth until you're done with all the pins right so from that now this guy here when the game's gonna start is gonna listen to the other dispatcher and when the dispatcher say hey my health has been modified it's gonna tell him hey we have to do something about that right so we're gonna create form even here we're gonna create a custom even I'm gonna tell the game hey you have to do something here so we're gonna call that health as change right and from that we're gonna take our L percentage that we need so we need a way to take our L percentage but we already have the binding here so technically we shall be all good to access those value so we're gonna take our L process no L process our L progress bar we're gonna drag it right there right and from that we want to set the percent of it which mean setting that bar here as you remember here we are you know that bar here when it's go up and down we want to set that and this as you can see said progress percent it's exactly what we're gonna do so from the progress bar we're gonna search for percent and we're gonna set that percent but which value we have to set it for well we already have it here or L percent as you remember and our event dispatcher we created the ELT which is already this calculation here right it's already done for us so we just have to plug it right there and now we're all set and it should work for us perfectly so we're gonna just do a comment on this and I'm gonna call that ELT logic and I'm gonna do a print string so you just you can see uh, exactly what's happening so we're gonna do a print string and I'm gonna call that help change or well if I can write it correctly help change anyway you see the point so I'm gonna compile that and I'm gonna go back to the game and press play as you can see here as you can see here we our help is changing right because it's going up now as you can see in the bottom left corner our health is going up slowly so you can see it's casting out change all the time until it's full so it's way more efficient because it's not like every frame but just every time we need it so if we go back and we go to the first person character and we get our um, health and we change it to 100 so I want to be 100% when I start. So if I do play, right, 
whoops, gonna go back again. Just gonna slow down that sound. There we go. So if I do play, as you can see here in the bottom, uh, on the top left corner, there is no health change. But if I go in the fire, you see health change every time taking damage. You can see the progress bar is going down. And if I move out of the way, you know, now, you know, nothing's happened because we didn't set up the game yet to get back our health correctly after something happened. But you see the point now, you see it's not casting every frame to verify our health. So it's way more efficient that way. So it's exactly how you use an event dispatcher. Just remember it's a, a service that you call and when you call that service, you know, you ask for something and you take that action for what you ask for in your player HUD. That's basically how that works. So we can remove that and we're all set for that. So it's exactly how to use an event dispatcher. So I'm gonna keep uh, doing this for everything that we're gonna put in our player uh, for the future so you can stick around if you want or you can go if you want to so we're gonna just do the stamina as well so it's gonna be exactly the same process so we're gonna go to our first person character and we need to create another event dispatcher so that one will be a little bit faster because I don't want you know it's all the same thing it's gonna be just a little bit faster so we can gain a little bit of time so we're going to create an event dispatcher and we're going to call that event dispatcher stamina dispatcher and the same thing we're going to need an input so we're going to add an input and it's going to be our uh, stamina percent and it's going to be a float because our stamina is using a float so from that here we're going to go to our um let me check here make sure i don't see anything wrong we're gonna go to our drain stamina so we have our stamina here when we press we're gonna go to the drain stamina here and we're gonna all the way down here and just before the delay we're gonna call our dispatcher for stamina so we're gonna take our dispatcher for stamina we're just gonna drag it to the board here we're gonna call it we're gonna make sure it's connected to the false here and we need to create a function for our stamina so we're gonna create a function here we're gonna call that get stamina percent and same thing as the ilk we're going to take our current stamina with our max stamina we're going to make sure that we divide those two together and we do a percent not this but um a return result node return return node there we go return node and plug that right there so we all go with that we can go back to our event graph and now we have our stamina percent here we can take it and put it there as you remember we don't want the arrow so we need to make sure that we click per and we can compile and now we can put it there and it's going to look better tidier perfect so we're going to do that and we need also every time you know we're draining is going to tell the dispatcher we need also the same thing when our health is going up so we're going to put our dispatcher just between our current stamina and our delay so we're going to take our stamina dispatcher we're going to do a call plug those two together we're going to take our uh, stamina percent here plug it right there so we're all set with that so when we use stamina or we regain stamina it's going to tell the dispatcher now we can go to our player uh, make sure that we are on the dispatcher and the dispatcher the stamina bar here make sure that we are removing the binding if you have any we can remove that we're going to go to our graph tab right as you can see we have the stamina here bar for the function we don't need that anymore so we can remove it and we're going to you we're going to do exactly the same as here so we're just going to take that we're just going to copy it put it right there and we're going to plug those two together however we don't want the else right we want the dispatcher for the stamina so we're going to drag from our reference for first person character we're going to bind or stamina dispatcher to it so let's do that plug those two together and now we can connect the custom event right there however the custom event here it's our stamina so it's going to be a stamina as change so we're just going to put this and here the progress bar for it we want the stamina so we're going to take our stamina just drag it over so now it's going to change it but you have a warning because it's using 
the alt one so but it has already changed so we just can click on it and do a refresh node and it's going to change it for our stamina percent and just plug it right there so now we can compile and we're all good so if we try it out it should work as well so let's put a print string right here and we're gonna just say stamina and we're gonna compile and play so as you can see now there's nothing happening whoops there's nothing happening and if I start running stamina 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 I stop it's not doing any more stamina so until the regen is completed so regen is full now as you can see there's absolutely nothing it's all done so it's exactly how you use an event dispatcher so it's way more efficient than using the old way that we set up that earlier so i'll catch you on the next one and uh, for the future on we're going to use the, that way for everything for our player hud so it's going to be more efficient more performance and i think it's the best way to do it if you have any other way to to do that in a more efficient way just let me know so otherwise i'll catch you on the next one see ya